welcome back to my channel and a new video. In this video I will show you how to create a simple video waypoint mission for your DJI drone in Litchi focusing on a single point of interest. Firstly open the Litchi website, the link is in the description, and create or sign into your Litchi account. When ready click the mission hub icon at the top of the screen. You may be asked if Litchi can use your location, click yes or your choice. If you clicked allow or yes you will then see a map of the local area you are located in. Before we start, let's look at the settings in the app. Choose your measurement units of your choice, either Imperial or Metric. Select the Heading mode. For a waypoint mission, either use Auto or Custom. In the next section, tell the drone what you'd like it to do at the end of the mission. I use Return to Home. In Path mode, if you want the drone to fly the exact path of the waypoints, select Straight Lines, or to smooth out the flight, click Curved Turns. The cruising and maximum flight speeds can only be changed in the actual mission settings. For this mission, I will leave the photo capture as disabled as we will be filming video. Select your default curve size. The higher the number, the smoother the flight and the bigger the curves. For this mission, I want the gimbal angle to focus on a point of interest set in the mission. So select Focus POI. These are the key settings changed. You can now click Close and return to the map. For this example, I'm going to fly a short mission around an island in a lake local to me. So firstly, locate the area that you want to film or fly the mission. The first thing to do is to set the point of interest. Locate the center point of the mission and right click the mouse to drop the point of interest point. You can use the settings section at this point to determine the height the drone should focus on. You can increase it should it be something such as a tower. Now move the mouse to where you want to start the mission and left click. This doesn't need to be the takeoff point as the drone will fly to the start point from your takeoff point. You will see the first waypoint icon and the setting box opens. Select the height you want the drone to fly the mission at. I am using 50 meters. I have left the other settings at this point on default. You will see that the POI is set to one, which is the point of interest we have just created. At this first waypoint, I want the drone to pause and then start recording. This can be set in the action section. Click the plus icon. Select stay for and set the time to five seconds. Click the plus icon again to add a second action. This time select start recording. In summary, at this first waypoint, the drone will fly there at 50 meters, pause for five seconds and then start to record video. Now, simply add the rest of the waypoints by left clicking the mouse at the relevant point on the map. You will see, as we selected curved turns in the original settings, the flight path is shown in blue as a curved line, not yellow as a straight line. If you select a straight, it would simply follow the lines you've drawn on the map. If you place a waypoint in the wrong location, simply move and hover over it, and then click it to move where you want it to go. At the last waypoint, we again want the drone to pause for five seconds and then stop recording. This is done by adding the actions in the same way as before. If you accidentally add a waypoint, simply click on the waypoint and then click delete in the settings and it will be deleted. When you are finished, click missions icon at the bottom of the screen and click save. Give the mission a name and then click save again. The mission is now saved and ready to fly in the Litchi app on your phone or tablet, which we will look at next. Open the Litchi app on your device. I am using an iPhone. Once the app is open, click the top left hand corner and select Waypoint. The app now goes into Waypoint mode. Click the folder icon on the left to see your saved missions. Select the mission we just created and then click Load. The mission will then load and show on the app. You can see some simple stats on the flight in the bottom left hand corner. Here the mission is 229 meters long and it will take two minutes to fly. You can also see on each of the waypoints where the drone will be facing when it's flying. You can see clearly it's focused on the point of interest. When you're ready to fly and the drone is connected, either take off or simply click the play icon and the mission will be flown. When the weather in the UK improves, I will get out and record a second video showing me flying this mission. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.